destroy those trust issues through Jesus. After all, if we can't trust in someone who died for us and lives for us today, who can we trust? Top of the morning to you. When we read with the eyes of love, Psalm 130, in an effort to get to know our God more intimately, we learn that our God is someone we can count on no matter how deep our troubles. Verse 1-3, through three, Out of the depths I cried to you, O Lord. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. How does the psalmist know God will listen? Through experience and trust in His Word. He knows God will answer despite how much we don't deserve His help. Verse 3, If you, Lord, should keep account and treat us according to our sins, who could stand? In other words, thank you, God, for not keeping a scorecard on what we deserve and what we don't deserve. After all, no one could stand up under that kind of scrutiny, especially from someone who knows us inside and out. Our God's nature is to forgive much because He loves much. The psalmist not only asks God to hear his cry for help, but takes his faith up a notch in verse 5. I wait expectantly for the Lord. Why? Because in your word I do trust. He knows from experience and faith that God promises to help us in the time of need, which is confirmed in Psalm 46.1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. He says he waits with much intensity, more in intensity than the watchman for the city, whose job it is to act as security force protecting the physical safety of the town. He wraps things up in verse 7 and 8 with this word of encouragement. Israel, a.k.a. God's people, put your hope in the Lord. He is full of mercy and will not give you what you deserve, but will give you what you need because he loves you unconditionally. And he doesn't hold back in redeeming us from all our iniquities. In a world filled with people like us, selfish and self-centered, looking out for their own interests to the detriment of others, how reassuring and refreshing to know there is one who can be trusted to have our back. Jesus has proven his love for us. He put action to his words by laying down his life for us. John 15:13. Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Have a great day.